keep calling Jeremy. He's standing right here. Jeremy? <coughs> Good afternoon. My name is Jeremy Michaels, and I'm a 62-year-old gay man. Almost 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with full-blown AIDS and a practically non-existent immune system. Since then, I've dealt with numerous AIDS-related health problems from pneumocystis pneumonia to chronic fatigue to severe neuropathy in my feet, among others. With the help of knowledgeable doctors, my immune system has improved a lot, although many problems remain. All in all, I consider myself a survivor, since 95% of my friends did not survive and are no longer a part of the Castro community, Hi, where most of them lived and most of them died. Now I'm dealing with a new threat to my survival. The fact that I'm undergoing a, an eviction from my home of 17 and a half years and from my Castro neighborhood in the city of San Francisco of 37 years. This past March, while I was in the hospital recovering from a fractured foot, my building at 460 Noe Street was sold to new owners, a partnership made up of three real estate speculators, Mr. John H. Du, Mr. William H. Young, and Mr. Kwong Mai, who subsequently yeah. formed an ownership limited liability corporation, 460 Noe Group, LLC, based in Union City. Soon afterwards, they and their lawyer began a campaign to get me to accept the buyout offer to move out. Several times, okay, several times threatening to invoke the Ellis Act by going out of the rental business and evicting all the units if I did not accept such an offer. When I refused, they did just that, and I have since received an eviction notice. No matter that under San Francisco's rent control laws, as a senior as well as a disabled person living in a rent controlled he said apartment at the beginning, for longer than 10 rent. years, I am considered a protected tenant who can't be evicted for just cause in most all other cases. This tactic of real estate speculators using the Ellis Act to get rid of long-term senior and or disabled residents under rent control is on the rise now that the San Francisco real estate market is once again picking up due to the improving econ economy. Far too many times, just the threat of using the Ellis Act has scared tenants enough to accept low buyout offers to get them to move. While I am technically a victim of this tactic, along with many others, some of whom are with us today, I do not like to think of myself as a victim, which is why I am also here to speak out. That's not to say that I'm not fearful for my future, I am. If my eviction goes through and because I've been living on a fixed income, there is no way that I will be able to afford a comparable one-bedroom apartment in San Francisco, let alone in my own neighborhood, the Castro, with rents two to three times what I'm paying now under rent control. So I may well be forced out of the city and the neighborhood that I love and where I have lived most of my adult life. And if that is the case, I will also no longer have access to some of the best doctors who put to deal with all my AIDS-related health problems and who have helped me to survive up to this point. And I don't really think I will be able to find that quality of health support in any other city that I will have to move to. And I worry about that a lot. I would like to ask my Castro neighbors and fellow citizens of San Francisco if they really believe that it is right that seniors and, or disabled people should be forced out of their homes of 10, 15, 25 years or more just so some real estate speculators can make a windfall profit at their expense. Hell no! I believe we all deserve better than that. We all deserve to be treated fairly. After all, isn't that the spirit behind instituting rent control in, the, in San Francisco to begin with? Yes. So I call on all our city supervisors and our state representatives to act to help guard our senior and disabled tenants from Ellis eviction abuse and urge you to check out our website at www.ellishurtseniors.org for ways that you can help. One of which is to boycott the sale of properties where senior or disabled tenants have been evicted under the Ellis Act. I will soon be providing a boycott list of such properties on the website. Of course, legislation on the state level is still our best recourse. 
but in lieu of that, legislation on the city and county level can still potentially further limit Ellis abuse. However, easing current laws by allowing for more tenancies and commons to convert to condominiums, as proposed by my own supervisor, Scott Wiener, I and many others believe would have the exact opposite effect and only encourage even more Ellis evictions in the city. Therefore, I strongly ur urge you not to support this proposed legislation. Finally, I'd like to add, if you have gone through an Ellis eviction and would like to share your experience online, you can contact me through the website. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Yeah.